Okay, Margaret Horak from Mount Vernon is here, and she has got for us the Farmer's Market Frittata. And if I, you do, don't mind my saying so, Margaret, it looks like you stopped at every stall <laughs> in the Farmer's Market to make this one. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, well, we're loaded with things here to make it really good. You betcha. Well, first of all, we try to do everything local. So most of this stuff came to locally from Mount Vernon or right. in the Skagit County there. And the butter didn't, but everything else has. <laughs> well, it could have. Yes, it could have. It sure could have. It sure could have. Um, these potatoes are, are actually also from the local area there, too. Now, what kind of potatoes? These are red potatoes, new red potatoes, yep. So I have all. What about oil. using things like Yukon Gold or something like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You could do either one. Okay. Absolutely, yep. Just whatever, um, you know, okay. looks pretty. That's what I like to do. So, Margaret, I see you yes. brought us a basket of eggs. Oh, and yes. some wonderful things. Yes. These are eggs from our our own little chickens, our backyard chickens. Uh, wow. These been saving these up for the last three or four days, so we can bring them down and kind of show them off. And these are the eggs we're actually going to be using in our frittata. This frittata has got eggs in it, folks. Believe me, it's got <laughs> eggs in it. Wow. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah. You got so many brown ones in there. That's brown and yeah. green and blue. Yeah. And very colorful. Speaking of color, we're also using we're also using uh, red peppers and green onions for some color and some flavor too. Looks like the colors of Italy in this pan. Oh. Kind of. Well, that is a really a frittata is from Italy, yes. right? It's a Italian really? omelet. Uh huh. All mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna do a little salt and pepper on top of sure. those. And we were. Excuse Any particular me. kind of salt? This is sea salt, yep. Okay. Brown sea salt. And, sorry Carol, no reach in problem. front of you. There, there we go. go. Season it with a little love there. You betcha. And those will just cook for just a few minutes. Okay. And while they're cooking, we'll also want to put a couple of handfuls of our really beautiful spinach this here. This is gorgeous. Isn't this, that beautiful? This is some of the nicest spinach I've seen in a long time. Can't wait to have the season open for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna toss these in on top of that, and that just has to wilt down a little bit. Okay. I think you're it. gonna see people growing a lot more food. I believe uh, you're right. Yep. You know, With the prices going up, uh, mm -hmm. it, it just so. is a really good thing to do, mm -hmm. and, and it's so fresh and it tastes so good it coming does. out of the garden. It folks. really does. And the eggs. You oh, know, yeah. it's just, yeah. the price of eggs has almost doubled yep. in uh, price for the last couple of weeks, I've noticed that. So it's nice to have our little backyard flock. So Margaret, do you serve this as a brunch dish, as an evening meal? It could be all those. That's great. And another thing nice about frittatas is that they can be served at room temperature too. So, mm -hmm. you know, oh, okay. so you could cook it uh, in the morning or the night before and, and put it in the refrigerator and then on your way to work the next morning, Pull out a, is a there, piece is of there a big difference in, in taste between the, the, the hot and the, and the cold? Not really. Okay. No, not really. Okay. Or you can heat it up too. Either way, I did. In fact, I had one heated up the other day that was just really good. Okay, and it's a great place to use up leftover stuff. Absolutely. Oh yes. Absolutely. Yes. And this is. Would you pass the uh, cream, please? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Thank you, George. All natural. Mm -hmm. A little bit of there. So a little bit of cream, salt. Look out, egg. <laughs> They're coming down on an egg there. <laughs> and uh, would you pass me the Tabasco, please? Uh huh. Just a touch. A little, little bite here. There you go. Just a little. Yeah. That's great. Just to kind of perk it up a little, you know. Mm -hmm. And do you notice how yellow these eggs are? <laughs> Those are beautiful. So what do you feed your chickens to get yolks? That we color? actually let them out loose three or four hours a day so that they eat all the grass and bugs that they want. And I'm so happy that they do because they keep the bugs down on our garden sure. mm -hmm. and keep us from having to, you know, go out and do a lot of... So these are free-range chickens, are they? Yep. <laughs> they are. Well, partially. <laughs> okay. As long as they don't go out of, all over the fence. Anymore. Right. We don't want any raccoons getting them or anything. Oh, no. Oh. How are we doing there, Carol? Uh, I think we're doing pretty well. These things are nice and soft here. Yeah, Perfect. Not, okay. That spinach has cooked down nicely, too. It's still mm -hmm. beautiful color. That's what we want. Okay. We got yeah. that. Thank you. So I'm going to just pour this on okay. top. Bring it on. And we just uh, let that kind of melt and move around. Thank you. Okay. And last but not least is that Gouda cheese or how to cheese, however you want to pronounce it. And we put that on the very top. Okay. 
and yeah. thank you. And then it's ready to go in the oven. Just like this, we don't just have like to stir that. it or lift nope. it or anything. No. Nope. You so see you put, how it, in the fry pan you put it in. In the, the fry pan. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So you want to get one that right. has a handle that can go in the oven. Now yeah. Let's tell people about this spat here because oh, yeah. they need to know that you can't do this with just any old. No, spat. no. This has to be. Uh, you have to be able to use it in high temperatures, and it's absolutely. What, the best what is, thing. What's that made out of? Because mine Spilt does melt. I've, I've melted several of those in fry pan. I believe it's silicone. It's, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's not, great. Not, even, not even soft. No, anything. no, no. It's perfect. And it's good for these kind of pans, too. And here we have the finished Ooh. product. Don't you love a product that comes out in a, in a fry pan? <laughs> just like I mean, it, it just automatically looks wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, do you want to do that? Do the honors. So this right. is a great use for that cast iron skillet. It Absolutely. just yes, does indeed. a wonderful job cooking. If you don't time. have one, get one. Cast iron skillet is, you'll use it over and over and over. And if you yes. want it to be really good, you'll, you'll pull down the cast iron skillet. Exactly. That's my favorite. That's, that is my absolute favorite dish to work to work with. My husband will tell you it's always out every every time we have dinner. <laughs> he's over there smiling, so yeah. he's not complaining a bit. <laughs> you want to use this? Oh, yes. That would be great. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. All right, George, are you ready for this? Okay, we're going to put it on this one. Yes. Okay. We're going to get cut it. all the way through. There you go. There you go. Oh, you did that great. Good job. This is for the beauty shot. Okay. Well, since this one is for the beauty, and, and I, we, we don't have to, I'll just try this. You don't have to. <laughs> And I'm getting a, a good piece of, of uh, meat here, or I mean of uh, spinach, spinach and, and cheese, yep. mm. milk, red pepper. Mm. So how long does this bake in the oven? It's it's in there for about 15 minutes oh, at okay. 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. And very... You already know how good this is, don't you? Yeah, I've, oh yeah, we've had and it Then several. I'll take another bite. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> I can it? see that with some nice good? crisp bread and mm -hmm. glass oh, yes. of cold and you know, white you know, wine. Mm -hmm. Margaret is quite right. This is good for any meal. Absolutely. Any meal. Absolutely. Yeah. And one more. Is, and you can put a lot of different things in it too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not necessarily just these ingredients. But what you have in the refrigerator works good too. Well, it, it like like uh, Carol said, it's good for leftovers. Mm -hmm. Perfect for that. Right. Right. And it's also u perfect for using your favorite foods. Call you know, and the get things the things your family really likes, and just put them into this recipe and go for it. Okay. One eight hundred four four three nineteen ninety nine. These are fantastically good recipes this, this, this show. Good. Please get the yeah, book. Yeah, you'll you'll enjoy it and you'll try them and you'll like them. Thank you so much, Margaret. That was wonderful. I that is really this. good. Oh, good. I hope